Hello, I've just got in from my daily walk and I'm having a mug of tea and reading the newspaper, as you do. There's an article here uh, that I want to share with you. I'll just move this mug of tea to one side and share this with you. The leader on this article is New Gardeners Saw Demand for Seeds. And the article states, Seed retailers are struggling to cope with the huge surge in demand for fruit and vegetable seeds as people across the UK take up gardening during the coronavirus lockdown. Firms are reporting demand for seeds this week spiking at up to 10 times normal levels for the time of year with salad leaves and tomatoes being the most popular crops for amateur gardeners. The last few days have been massive, said Nick Wyatt, growth marketing manager at Seeds Pantry, whose sales have more than doubled in the past week. It's been like Christmas, he told I. Some firms have suspended new orders because of higher demand. Wow, well, this applies to you if this is one of these new gardeners you're most welcome yeah you're definitely most welcome here at homegrown veg and what I want to do is to get you off on the right foot um, I want to dispel a few myths and I want to tell you about some successive art some successes that I've had and you can have the same successes okay let me just move this so I can put some more text on this table Okay, I want to talk about carrots first. Now, if you go through the YouTube videos, you'll find people that tell you you can regrow carrots from shop bought carrots. I'm here to tell you today you definitely cannot. You definitely cannot grow another carrot from a shop bought carrot. You can maybe grow the leaves, but you won't grow the carrot. My advice to you is if you've got carrots, eat them. Eat those carrots. And if you want to see how I grow carrots, eat at home grown veg from seeds, um, search on this title. HGV Grow Carrots Start to Finish. Tomatoes. Uh, yeah, you can regrow really tomatoes, but what you're going to be doing is you're going to be eating the shop bought tomato and growing from seeds. And yeah, you can definitely do that. Uh, there are a number of videos on YouTube, but if you want to watch my video, it's called HGV Grow Tomatoes from Shop Bought Tomatoes Start to Finish. Celery. You cannot regrow any meaningful sticks of celery from Shop Bought Celery. I've had a go at this. Um, the video I put up is called HGV regrow shop bought celery start to finish. My advice to you would be if you've got celery, eat it. Just eat it. Onions. Nope, you can't regrow shop bought onions. You can try and you will get some green shoots, but that's all you're going to get. You're not going to get more onions. Take my advice, if you've got onions, eat them. Shop bought shallots. Now you can regrow shop bought shallots, and that's a definite and it's a winner. And I've produced a video called HGV How to Grow Green Onions Shallots in Booker Top Pots Start to Finish. If you've got some shop bought shallots at home, I would suggest you eat some of them and you plant some of them. And if you watch that video, you'll definitely plant some of them. Okay, and last but not least, shop bought potatoes. Let's have a look at this. Shop bought potatoes, come on. There are videos out there that'll try and persuade you you cannot regrow potatoes from shop-bought potatoes. They'll tell you they've been sprayed with stuff 
they'll tell you if they go green you definitely can't grow them um, they'll tell you you need certified seed potatoes they need to be heirloom potatoes forget all of that baloney it's baloney um, tell you what I'm going to do I'm just going to move this back to where it came I'm going to recommend another video and I'm going to come back to this tray of shop bought potatoes okay uh, the video you should watch is grow potatoes three pots of early potatoes reveal that'll show you three different varieties of shop bought potatoes that I grew and harvested then you decide if you can grow from shop bought potatoes right let's have a look at this okay I'm not too sure how this will turn out it's, it's, it's a reflective surface Maris Piper potatoes you can see where they came, came from the cooperative these are Maris Piper they're chitting up aren't they they'll grow they'll definitely grow look at those Maris Piper they'll definitely grow I just haven't got them planted yet so they're Maris Piper what's these guys on the end these are from the co-op as well and these are Saxon these potatoes are chitting up these potatoes are going to grow so if you do actually find any of those videos that tell you they won't chit up because they've been sprayed with something remember this right let me just take a couple of these off this bag and these are oh these were bought from Morrison's and these are Cara and these were grown in Scotland and the grower was called Angus Fleming and the variety is Cara I mean there's all that information on the packet who grew them, where they grew them, what the variety is it's all there for you and if you have a look at these guys they come up they're going to grow what's going to stop them? those potatoes are going to grow so what I would suggest you do now if you're going to give this a go certainly watch that video but what you really need to be doing is having a look on your veg rack and seeing if you've got any potatoes that are starting to cheat if you've got them starting to cheat you're on your way if you haven't you may want to set one or two aside until they do cheat and the easiest way I find to do that is just put them somewhere warm they don't need the light, dark will do, somewhere warm they'll start to cheat uh, and then you can plant them and if you haven't got any seed potatoes um, because we're in lockdown now you're possibly not going to get any seed potatoes because the seed potatoes that are in the shops they're locked down and all the seeds are locked down um, but you can buy these in the grocery store in a food shop uh, so you could buy them, you could grow them, can't you? Now the seeds, as I've just said, they're in lockdown as well, aren't they? You can try and order some seeds on the internet, but as I've just said in that article, um, the seeds are going like uh, snow off a dike. There may not be any left, but you may actually have some seeds. You may actually have some seeds from last year or the year before. And I produced a video called um, HGV, how to do your own seed germination trial start to finish and the reason I've done that was that um, gardeners usually had seeds left over from the previous year and some from the year before and a packet that fell down the back of the settee and they found that and, and will they grow so I've done a seed germination trial and it's so easy if you want to watch that video you could do your own seed germination trial and within two or three weeks you'll know which of your seeds will germinate all you can do is keep your eye on them keep them moist um, they don't even and whatever you do don't stand the uh, container in strong sunshine that's just going to dry the um, tissue out and the seeds will die just keep it where it's warm the seed the seeds are going to germinate they'll germinate if they germinate you know you can plant those seeds if they don't germinate well you can't plant those seeds can you okay so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I hope you watch one or two of those videos I've just recommended and if you have any questions just come back to me 
just come back to me. Stay in your garden, stay safe. We're all going to get through this. Yeah, stay in your garden, stay safe. We're all going to get through this. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.